My perfect Thanksgiving meal always includes great mashed potatoes. Today I'm making light fluffy mashed potatoes with buttermilk and chives. I'm going to start by scrubbing my potatoes with these potato scrubbing gloves. What I love about them is that they've got this abrasive surface that helps you scrub away the dirt really quickly. See how easily this dirt comes off? Now I'm almost done peeling my potatoes. And this peeler works really well when you're peeling large batches. more. And if you wanted to do this a few hours in advance, you could. You could just leave these whole peeled potatoes in cold water at room temperature for a few hours. I'm just finishing cutting my potatoes and I like to cut these into a two inch dice because they cook fairly quickly that way. And you want to think about starting this process of bringing them to a boil about 45 minutes before you're ready to serve your potatoes. That gives you plenty of time for the water to come to a boil and let them cook and then time to mash them as well. So now I'm just going to add two teaspoons of salt to the water. You really want this water to have some flavor, to flavor your potatoes. And then let's bring these up to a boil. I'm going to start them at medium high heat to bring it to a boil. And once the water is boiling, I'll turn it down to medium low so they'll simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. While my potatoes finish cooking, I'm adding some buttermilk and half and half to a saucepan. And I just want to warm this for about four to five minutes. Then I'll take it off the heat and set it aside. My potatoes are done cooking, so let's drain them. Just want to make sure to shake off any excess water. For light and fluffy mashed potatoes, there are a few great options besides hand mashing. I like to decide between a potato ricer and a food mill. If you're using a potato ricer, all you have to do is hook it onto a bowl. This is such a great design. And add a scoop of your potatoes, and they'll get pushed through this small screen. What you're left with are these fluffy little bits of potato. It's amazing, too, because you don't even have to peel your potatoes to put them through the ricer. Those are great. So you're guaranteed that they're lump-free, too. Then all I would have to do is stir in the rest of my ingredients. Now, if you want to use a food mill, it works really easily as well. You just put it right over the pot that you were making your potatoes in. I love this design here and how it's got these rubber grippers to hold. I'll just fill it up with a couple scoops. And then this crank handle will push them through a perforated disc. If you need to redistribute the food at all, you just need to turn it counterclockwise and keep going. And what you're left with is the same thing, just these great little fluffy bits of mashed potato with no lumps. So I'm going to finish this batch with my food mill. Now I can add the rest of my ingredients. I've got my butter, the warmed half and half and buttermilk mixture, some chives, salt, and freshly ground white pepper. I'm going to add the butter first. And then the buttermilk and half and half mixture. I want to stir this pretty vigorously to dissolve the butter. Make sure it's all melted. So these mashed potatoes are the perfect consistency now. I can go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. I've got my chives, which adds so much flavor and color. And then I'm going to add some freshly ground white pepper. And I love using white pepper for Thanksgiving in my mashed potatoes because you can't see those black flecks. Add a generous amount. And then most importantly, I'm going to add a really generous amount of salt because I think it's important for your potatoes to have enough flavor. So let's add that salt and then taste them to make sure we like them. It's all mixed in. You have a taste. They look delicious. And they're perfect. We can go ahead and put them in a serving bowl now. Everyone is going to love these buttermilk mashed potatoes.